Hello Collective, welcome back to my channel. This is your intuitive Starcy Tamara, your light worker. This is a general reading for my collective. Thank you all for returning. Mwah. Hugs and kisses to you. Thank you guys for your support, your likes. Your, sub your subscribes, also your donations, no matter how big or small, all right? Thank you guys for your emails also. Glad to see that the messages are resonating with you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Child, my nose is itching. So let's get into this read. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Mwah. Hugs and kisses to you over the message overall resonates with you helps in some way shape form or fashion or you just get in it for the vibe your choice gender is also fluid if i'm talking about a feminine i could also be talking about a masculine same sense same scenario just flip the rose okay i do use profanity over here all right um also there are some uploads on aquarius angel 11 11 channel so profanity over there too you get what I'm saying? I'm just being honest. Just being honest. Okay. All right. So with that being said, make sure you guys are calling on Archangel Michael or Archangel Metatron to do your return to senders. And when you're calling for your energy back from people, places, things that no longer serve your higher self. All right. Sending you guys love and light for those of us that are healing on our journey going towards our calling child. Uh, for those of you that are still figuring that out, also I send you love and light. My prayers go out to you. Keep pushing forward. Don't let things that are energy uh, trapping, like thirst trapping when it comes to your energy, be protective of that. Be stingy with it. You know what I'm saying? Is regardless. I mean, it's too many people that are not in the process of healing, not in the business of healing, healing, not standing on business when they come to healing. They just in a tag mode, slide, slick as ever. You know what I'm saying? At least trying to be, but our ancestors work too hard for us to, you know, slack. You know what I'm saying? So we have to hold our in. We had to hold down the fort, you know what I'm saying? Stay on top of things when it comes to our energy, all right? So make sure you're doing that. Make sure you're keeping your energy cleansed. Keep your vibration high. Surround yourself with positive people. Remember your affirmations. And also do your return to senders, you know, throughout the day. I be, child, I put a spin on mine because I don't even be playing. I don't even be playing. But listen, let's get into this reading. And get my beautiful, handsome collective. Let's get y'all a message and get up out this thing, all right? Show me what I need to see. So hopefully the message resonates with you in some way. Like I said, shape for my fashion. Only take what resonates. Only you know what your testimony is, what's on your path at this time, what you're manifesting, what you were, all right? First card out. Show me exactly why you didn't deserve me. Thank you. Man or woman. Could have been somebody that kind of took your kindness. I ain't gonna even say kind of child. Somebody, man or woman, this could have been someone that 
took your kindness for granted. You know, your gullibleness. Somebody kind, caring, nurturing, whether you're man or woman. Um, somebody could have took things about you that are hard to find in people that are genuine about people these days. Your authenticity. Somebody could have took that for granted. Like, and this could have been somebody very low vibrational, could still be very low vibrational. But that's a thing where somebody showed you who they were and you ain't got no other choice but to, you know, respect it. You know, you saw it. You know, it may have been painful to see because of, you know, the hope you had in someone or the, that you know, the, the out, you know, the outlook you had on someone. You know what I'm saying? You can see a lot in people until they see it for themselves. You know, ain't no need sticking around for something somebody, you know, ain't trying to see, ain't willing to see, and it don't have the, the strength to, you know, go toward it or even sit down long enough to even figure it all out. You know what I'm saying? At least in the time you were in this person's life, whoever this is, man or woman. But it's a thing where you, somebody showed you who they were, somebody showed you their hand when it comes to how they were going to treat you, how they saw you as far as how they treated you. It's like somebody showed you a reflection of how they saw themselves by the way they treated you. And it's like this person showed you why you you know they didn't deserve you. They weren't ready for you, they wasn't prepared, you know, for somebody like you. They maybe not even been cut for you. You know, everybody ain't cut from the same cloth. So, of course, we all got our own paths, you know, our own callings our own lessons to learn and I feel like this person was your lesson to learn you know when it comes to who to choose and how much to pour into somebody when you're not getting it back you know what I'm saying and I feel like that lesson was a hard lesson to learn it may have been the last lesson to learn um you could have been in a cycle like this with more than just a lover here this could have been you know family could have been you know close friends people you grew up with you know caring about having nothing but kind words to say, you know, uplifting, things like that. But it's a thing where somebody took a lot of those things about you for granted for a long time, man or woman. Next card, don't want to bring any of this drama back with me. So, I mean, this clearly could be a past person for sure. But it's a thing where somebody don't... Um, Somebody know you don't play about, you know, how you get treated or how somebody handles you. And I feel like somebody found that out the hard way. Maybe they were used to dealing with people that really don't have any boundaries, don't have, you know, any self-respect when it comes to how they see respect or how they see themselves. They could be low vibrational, so they could put up with a lot just to keep somebody around. But it's a thing where somebody sees that or they know the difference in whatever it is you don't like that they do and how you handle what you don't like that they do. Like how somebody treats you or how they tr whatever somebody treated you like, made you feel like, how you handle that, how you reacted to it is different than what they used to. They used to people sticking around, maybe, you know, putting up with it, tolerating it, even still... You know, knowing that it hurts, they know that it's wrong. They may even, you know, want things to change between them and whoever this uh, person is that, you know, want to come back around to you, man or woman, you know, lover, friend, family, you know, member, it's a thing where somebody wants to come back around to you, whoever it is, but they know your reaction to something they that you don't like it. You stick to it and you are put some action to it and you're not just talk. You may have been at a time because you didn't really think that this person, you know, move like this or. It's a thing where you probably didn't want to believe this person was, you know, literally ignoring you when you, 
you know, made something, uh, you know, brought something up or acknowledged something, brought something up or, you know, pointed something out as an issue or wanting to converse about something that may be how it made you feel or how it was making, you know, you look toward at them in a certain situation or a, in a connection or something like that. But what somebody took for granted about you was the fact that you're just not somebody built, you know, on drama. Like, you're not somebody that even deals in that. You know what I'm saying? You're not the drama type. You know what I'm saying? And you'll walk away from people, man or woman, family, friend, foe, whatever. You will, you know, walk away from things that no longer, that don't serve, you know, what it is that you're about. Like, whatever it is you stand for, you don't. You try to align or you align yourself with people in places that actually align with you when it comes to that. And it's like, you know, you don't mind, you know, when to walk away. You don't mind being without people in your life that, you know, don't bring peace, you know, with them. If they bring in drama with them, it's like, damn, what you look like, what you make, what you do for a living, what you drive, what your people name is. It don't matter. Uh, goodbye. Take that little <laughs> head, watch your head, take that little, like that kind of thing. It's like somebody don't mind, you know, telling somebody, you know, hey, I, I ain't interested. But I, I'm just not <laughs> interested, okay? And it's a thing where you, you don't mind doing that. But somebody don't want to come back around to you with the drama when they come back. That You know, even if it's the fact that somebody used to people dealing with that and that being something that, this could be a drama king that got, you know, involved with a lot of drama queens. And that was a low vibrational time in somebody's life where, you know, that was entertainment. You know what I'm saying? It may have struck this person's ego to deal with people that, you know, would put up with shit and bend over backwards and show their ass and, and be the fool, you know, for them. But it's a thing where somebody, if they need that kind of acknowledgement or attention you know it's low vibrational as hell it's it's real toxic it's real toxic it's very karmic and it's like you know play with your kids don't play with me so the person know you don't play like i said they know that you don't play about how you know people treat you and you will get on down like <laughs> you could be a youtube influencer Man or woman, or this person could be a YouTube influencer. Somebody can have a first, middle, or last initial L. Um, these names can be significant. First, middle, or last name. Larry, Leslie, Lewis, Lionel, Leon, Leanne, Lamont, Lenny, Lisa, Liam, Lamond, Latrice, Lee, Latrell, Lacey, Luke, and someone could go by the nickname Lucky. So someone could have a first, middle, or last initial L. It could be significant. Whoever this reading resonates with. Lamar could be significant. Next card, equal giving, equal giving and receiving coming in. Man or woman stuck in their south node came out in reverse. Yeah, so somebody is going through a transformation. They could be, you know, have going through a spiritual awakening. You have quite a few, uh, even dark, uh, even a dark night of the soul. They don't, you know, you get one, you don't. They don't stop coming. You know what I'm saying? 
the lessons that you have that come in once you, you know, end out cycles with people, clear out clutter, you know, from your path, you know, whether it's the company you keep, whether it's the stream, the way you earn your money, um, whether it's the opportunities that don't align with you when it comes to that, um, anything that you end out, you know, sometimes come with, you know, um, it's like a dark night of the soul or a spiritual awakening. It's like an enlightenment, you know, moment. And they don't stop come they don't stop happening. They don't once you end out cycles or end out um end things, you know, with situations or people, you know, as you're on your healing journey. It's a thing where you end up getting the downloads that you need to either end out a cycle or to reflect on the lessons, you know, that you learn from ending out a cycle, you know, moving forward because you're going to continue to be tested. But whoever, like I said in the beginning of the read, like it's, you know, more than one person could be in your energy that's out here right now when it comes to low vibrational, like, individuals. And some of them could be family members, some of them could be a lover or two that's, you know, was in their South Node could be quite a few. But it's a thing where almost everybody they deal with was in their South Node, and you could have crossed paths with this person when you were in your South Node um, or ending out your South, you know, um, being in your South Node. So even in out a cycle with somebody could have been the last of your karmic debt for some of you, not all of you, but I am getting that. Like somebody... Um, and it could have been a hard choice choice to make, but it's a thing where the lesson the, the lesson you needed to learn was a cycle that constantly may have felt like it kept repeating when it comes to your love life or friendships. You know, just different collaborations could be work, like not finding the job you feel like actually aligns with you. You're just not really happy with it, but it's good money or, you know, it did what it did, you know, it do what it do kind of thing. But it's like, you know, it's still something that happened or occurred at a time when you probably were in your South Node coming out of that and elevating. And these endings could have brought, you know, you into your North Node sooner than some others in your past. And now you have some people in your past and possibly some family members or ex-lovers or a more recent ex-lover that may be going into their North Node now, you know, after in and out of cycle finally. Or making final decisions on things that they may have been indecisive about or working on healing from so that they could make a final decision. That kind of thing. But somebody's no longer stuck, you know, in their South Node now. Um, they could be going through, like I said, a spiritual awakening or a dark night of the soul. But it's a transformation that is needed, you know, for both, for more than just one individual here. So you could have, you know, gotten your enlightenment about... Not just yourself, but others that you left behind, you know, so that you can get that clarity, that closure that you need. Next card, making sacrifices. Came out in reverse. Somebody else is stuck in their South Node. Like I said, it's a... Uh, it's a thing where somebody does not um, want to... I ain't going to say they don't want to. It's like somebody did not understand the meaning of sacrifice when it came to a connection or when it came to being um, somebody didn't realize being in a South Node came with 
you know, the fact that they refuse to change some things about themselves, like making sacrifices to obtain whatever goal that they ha ha had in mind or have in mind. Somebody did not understand that you got to give up something, you know, that no, that doesn't suit you. If you're going to make, if you want something better to happen, you have to do something better than what you're doing. And it means just believing in yourself to say that you can aim higher, that you can be a better person in whatever area of life, if not all of them, so that you can obtain the goal and get the outcome that you feel like you deserve or that you desire. And somebody did not see that sacrifice was required. Like somebody didn't think that they would have to give up the negativity, the toxicity that they were enjoying that because it came with a lot of attention. Not all attention is good. But it's a thing where somebody let the they ego get the best of them and guide them and mislead them and um re you know, misdirect them in thinking that all this attention that they were getting in they south know was the healthiest you know thing to do and obtain a goal at the same time which really just only caused a lot of negativity and competition that ended up being something that drove somebody away and put a a wedge between you know them being able to get where they need to go and accomplish what they want to accomplish Personally and with others. And this person may have settled for being in the that South Node time of their life because it involved a lot of attention. Like I said, it was getting them the attention and the response that they felt like was putting them on the map. You know what I'm saying? That was getting them getting them recognized. You know what I'm saying? However they wanted to be seen, it was like getting them out there. And it's like somebody spreading themselves far and wide in, in many ways to just have that relevance to somebody or to people. Instead of just looking at the fact that you're not going to get anywhere with all this attention because they only around to see, you know, what it is you accomplishing and try to either build on it you know come up off of it or find some way to stop it you know from being able to even be achieved so that's what the competition was and this person could have felt like they were in competition with you they could have made you feel like you had to compete for them but it's a thing where somebody didn't even realize sacrificing something to get where you need to go was even an option like somebody did not feel like they needed to do that so they didn't know how to do it either. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody didn't know what to sacrifice, it, whether they were willing to do it or not. It's like somebody just at the time, I feel like, didn't wasn't willing to sacrifice. So nobody was not thinking that they needed to let that kind of lifestyle go. They thought that they could bring you in or that you would be okay with it because so many other people were. And when you wasn't okay with it, it, it made you feel a certain way to feel like you needed to be like this or dumb yourself down to want to be with this person. It was a thing where you like, man or woman, like, no, I'm not going to do that. Like, if, if that's what you want, this shit, bye. You know what I'm saying? I worked too hard. You know, I've come too far to feel like I need to deserve that just to be with somebody. Like, no. And this person could have made you feel like, you know, even if you did feel like you were in a third party, if that was a situation, like only take what resonate. If it don't resonate, don't. But it's a thing if you felt like somebody may have other options or they may have wanted you to feel like it was somebody else. It was a thing where somebody allowed it to go that way to see what would come of it. And you end up walking away. Even if this person did not choose anybody, it was just entertainment. It still was something that they chanced it and played with it enough to let it be something that caused you to just walk away and choose yourself in the end because this person never used, they weren't used to anybody doing that. If they do, they always come back. It's a bluff. You know what I'm saying? Next card uses their charm and then changes up. Came out in reverse. This person could have done this in the past. 
This could have been, you know, like I said, that south node energy that somebody was in. They were, you know, into having their ego stroke. They were into, you know, the attention they would get. They were into the 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 negativity that came from when they don't call back, when they don't text right back, and when they don't, you know, pull up on time. And who was that, you know, that I seen driving your car? Who was that? You know, um, why you ain't call me right back? And if, even if it's a, a thing where somebody feel like, oh, you know, now you with so and so, it's like you can't call me now. It's like you ain't. It's like you don't fuck with me since you, you know, got you. You know, you got this dude or you with this girl now. It's like I don't hear from you. Like what's up? You know, like you acting funny now. That kind of thing. It is like somebody likes you know at that moment. Some and they south know somebody looked at that was at. Nothing wrong with that. Like, they look at that as, you know, being an issue. Like, they, you know, that was something to talk about. It was entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's small and it's petty. It is very immature, even if it's an older person. Take it how it resonates. But even if this is an older person doing this, child, this is why, you know, even if you date younger and somebody older, it's a thing where that person, it, you're supposed to be going with each other. But if you dumb yourself down just to be with a younger person and you older and you end up being more immature than the younger person, like child, uh-uh, it's time to sit your ass down because you're going backwards. You're going backwards. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be, you know, more of a role model. You know, I ain't going to say a role model. You're supposed to be more of a leader. In that person's life, man or woman, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're a masculine. But in a feminine energy, it's a thing where if you're going to date, you know, somebody older, that's it's kind of what you're looking at is, you know, well, they should be more mature. And we throw that age in there all the time where they old enough, they should know. Like, no. Maturity, when you look it up, it don't come with an age. It don't have age ranges up in them. It's up to you to mature your goddamn self. It's up to you to decide, you know, to get out of the behavior that you know your kids or how you was in high school or how you was thinking in middle school. It's up to you to change that behavior from middle school to adulthood. You know, to knowing that that's not something you're going to reflect back to until you're sitting in a damn nursing home and you're actually going backwards because of, you know, some type of illness. You know what I'm saying? Condition, him condition. But not just willingly trying to fit in and feeling like that's okay because ain't nobody said nothing about it. But I feel like when you in your South know, or when we in our South know, it's entertainment. It is. But, I mean, the lessons that you do get is something that's helpful to know when you're recognizing something repeating itself. You know what I'm saying? No matter how many New Year's resolutions you, you make. If you still bring it in with the same folks that want to do the same shit and they ain't knowing how to sacrifice something to get somewhere and sticking to it, regardless of how it's going to make three, four other people think of them or turn on them. or If they're going to turn on you because you changed something, they were going to turn on you anyway. They was already doing it. They was already doing it. It, it looked like it was easy enough for them to do it because you changed up today. But it's the fact of somebody using their charm to get somebody in and then they change up and this person could have been like that. It could have been, you know, all with the chivalry, opening the door, pulling your chair out, you know, um, being romantic, you know, and doing this. And then all of a sudden this person, you know, on some street shit, on some, you know, hood shit, like what? Like all of a sudden now, you know, this person, child, mm-mm. Especially when they're not around you. It's the thing of somebody not doing something when they when when somebody not around. This take it take it how it resonate what I'm about to say now. If this person was uh, was not around you, they wasn't the same way they was when they were around you. However, they were when they were around you, even if they were around family or friends or something like that, um, or just one-on-one -on -one, this person wasn't like that when they wasn't around you if they you know was on the phone or you know away from you if you lived at a distance from this person at some point um this person was different you know what i'm saying after a while like 
maybe over a course of years, this person started to change up. They, and that's what I'd be saying about folks that say, well, you know, what type, what kind of dude you looking for? Or what kind of, you know, woman you looking for? Like, what kind of woman you into? Oh, I'm just, I, I, I'm always taken back by answering that because you end up getting this shit here. Just not in the reverse. You end up getting a goddamn transformer. Somebody going to transform and as you saying what you, you know, what type of person, man or woman you into, they transforming right in front of you. And the minute you let them speak, they're going to say the opposite of what you said or the, you know, oh, I'm this, I'm that. Yeah, I'm all that. I do this all the time. I, I, you know, I always get said, you know, dudes that do this or women that do that, that's such and such and such and uh-huh and da -da 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 -da. and blah, 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 and wah, 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 and, you know, yeah. And then after they done said they peace, not even a year in or two years in, they, they forgot what you said and they said and they doing what they they normally do with everybody else. They don't even recognize it. They don't even realize they're doing it because they're so comfortable with doing it to people. And this person may have gotten comfortable over the years. This could have been somebody you knew longer than you've been separated from. Them. Man or woman, you could have known them, been involved with them, you know, for seven, ten, seven to ten years. But you could have been separated from this person and no contact with them for the last year or two. For some of you. Okay, for some of you, you know, the last year or four year, year to four years, but it's a thing where that person, over those that course of time, they change, and it could have been like you knew this person, you know, you met this person this month, you know, two months ago and or six months ago, and that person within them six months, three months in, they changed up because they got comfortable. After being, you know, where they were with you, they got comfortable. And they slipped and went right back into, you know, who they actually were. Because they weren't genuinely like that. They not genuinely like that. And, and they feel like they needed. It's like how somebody is when you are a paid escort or something like that. Like, it's like you're paying for the experience. Oh, I just want to. Um, I remember one time. I'll give you an example. I remember one time, you know, I was working at this casino. And... I was in charge of making, you know, accounts, you know, for people, you know, in slots. And a, a guest came up, you know, from out of town and he was, you know, asking about the comps and stuff he had on his account and room reservations, if he had any free nights and things like that, if he, you know, if I could make him some reservations at a restaurant. He said, let me ask you something, is, is, you know, is that okay? I said, yeah, sure. And he said, um... I don't want you to think I'm weird or nothing like that, but I, you know, like to go out and, you know, have some company sometime and, you know, just go to the movies and stuff like that. He was like, I know you, you know, get hit on all the time and stuff. He said, but, you know, I know you probably got, you know, a boyfriend, maybe even married. And, but I just, if you're not, then I would like, you know, to like, just have you, go to the movies with me or go out to eat, you know, go to dinner and, you know, no, nothing sexual, nothing like that. Just, you know, go out with you, have some, have a good time, just be seen with you, just to have some company, you know, and it don't matter if you go with someone, if you, you know, involved with someone and nothing like that, you know, I don't want to cause any problems and stuff. He was like, you know, you think you, you know, would be into something like that. And I was like, no, sir. He said, well, you know, I just, you know, thought I would ask, and you're a very nice looking, you know, young lady, and, you know, I would, you know, be delighted, you know, to take you out sometime and just, you know, just go out and, you know, and you can go your way, I go mine, and this, and I was like, mm-hmm. But I'm looking at all the titles that go with people that do that kind of stuff. And just because, you know, he asked me in the nicest way don't mean that, you know, that those titles are not going to be something that are relevant, you know, at that moment or down the road if I had went along with that. But, it, you know, but that's, you know, what some people do. You know what I'm saying? And he wouldn't have asked me if he wasn't used to somebody, you know, being okay with that. Because at some point, somewhere, they were. 
Otherwise, he wouldn't be propositioning me. You know what I'm saying? To see if what my interest is. But I'm saying when it comes to somebody, this person could have been married. They could have been widowed or something like that. You know, and they just didn't want to be by themselves. But it's a thing where the, the behavior, you know, and the actions, when they match up and they align it themselves, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of how you defend it or, you know, explain it, it it's still, you know, going to get called how you see it. You know what I'm saying? And either way, it was, you know, it was a whole hard note for me. But I was like, shh, no. Mm -mm. Well, you know, just, you know, think about it. I'm thinking about it. It's, it's no. Oh, okay. And, you know, and he was a black guy too. So, uh, you know, race ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm biased either, you know, when it comes to shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because people, if they feel the need to have the courage to ask you, they're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? But I'd rather them ask than somebody just spring something on you and then you next thing you know, you thrown into some type of, you know, uh, service where you, you know, having to be forced to do something like that. Because you, you know what I'm saying? You took that offer from somebody, you just shouldn't have done that. And it don't work out like that for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Anybody else, you know, at any other time would have took that offer from somebody and child, you wouldn't have heard from them no more. They wouldn't even remember their damn name no more because they would have been doing that for a living, for you know, and putting money in somebody else's pocket and couldn't do nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? Could have turned out a whole nother way than how it did, especially for me. So, in my heart, go out to the survivors of people that you know, go out they do, you know, to go somewhere and enjoy something or, you know, be part of some type of celebration or event and get put in them situations, you know, they didn't go out the door thinking that that was going to happen that day, you know. But this is somebody that uses their charm, you know, they did, you know, and then they change up. And this person, you know, is realizing that they did that to, you know, somebody that didn't deserve it. And when somebody showed up, you know, to you like that, and you ended up seeing this person like that, and walked away, now this person knows that you seen what you saw in them, something that you did not deserve, and that you did not want to stick around for, and was not going to entertain, you know, even for the sake of, you know, loving somebody, or loving them, or however you felt about this person, you was not going to stick around, and you know, tolerate that and still be dealing with this person if they got enough people already doing it. You know what I'm saying? It's about you knowing your own word. You could have Life Path 11. 11 came out. Um, you could be a source of inspiration with high energy and intuition often feels um, misunderstood. And this person, you know, could have, you could have Life Path 11. This person at times could have been, you know, misunderstanding of what you stood for or what you were standing on. But this also could be a thing where you get misunderstood a lot. People really miss, you know, judge situations that they call themselves on to test you on or put you in to try to test you to see, you know, if they're going to get the same outcome from the same, you know, from what they get from most, you know, let me see, you know, if I can get her, you know, and I always, I be saying that about some folks that know they, you know, ain't the best looking person. Like, be nice if you know you ain't the best looking person. Just saying, because at the end of the day, when somebody unhealed and in they south know, you know, get to, you know, talking they shit, the first thing they're going to say is, with your ugly ass, how dare you? You get what I'm saying? So it's a thing where you, I done seen some very not so nice looking people. Some people may feel like I don't look so nice. I don't give a damn. I don't think that of myself. But, you know, I can't, you know, dispute what somebody else feel and think because your spirit have to match up. Your soul, your heart have to match up with what's on the outside. And people can misjudge somebody on the outside and feel like they don't look so hot, so pleasant looking. But they got the most beautiful spirit, you know soul you'll ever you know come across and in that you know just in that moment shit i fuck with them i don't give a damn out of date ugly child listen and them, they'll do you wrong too 
but it's like a karmic debt that you have to, you know, pay out. You know what I'm saying? Not just by something you've done or, you know, it's, it's, it's ancestral. You know what I'm saying? It's the low vibrational ancestors that we don't have, a, you know, in our bloodline that's no longer with us. You know, they passed away way before us. You know what I'm saying? Some of them still in our goddamn bloodline. You know, making a lot of, you know, low vibrational south node decisions. So, it, with that being said, we end up being generational curse breakers because we end up having certain callings on our life where, you know, certain things that are known to go on in our bloodline and our family, you know, we can't, we cannot stand for it. We can't be part of it. And if we can't change it, then we need to get on down. We got to get away from it. We got to remove ourselves from the situation, from the people, from the connection. Because otherwise, it's like being guilty by association. Because they have to make their own changes. They have to make their own, you know, um, sacrifices. You know, for whatever it is that they feel like they want to obtain for themselves. And if they want to stay where they are, you got to get on down. You can't want something for somebody that don't want it for themselves. You know what I'm saying? And all they want to do is take from you to keep you from getting there too. So, um... You could be somebody that's, you know, constantly misunderstood. Um, you could be naturally shy. Um, inspiring the others easily. Take action suddenly. Um, highly intuitive. Psychic. You could be a medium. Um, just somebody that looks at, you know, humanity being better. You know, people treating each other better. Help others helping others you know what i'm saying um each one teach one is what i'm getting um their beautiful soul easily attracts people to them uh reach spiritual enlightenment and i said that in the beginning of the read like when it comes to ascension when it comes to spiritual awakenings and dark nights of the soul you know as you get enlightened you know reach enlightenment you know, with the lessons you learn, you know, you go through ascensions. You know what I'm saying? And you could possibly, somebody in my collective could have um, life path 11. Your life path could be 11. It's like you just look at, you know, the world around you as, you know, a better place. Like looking at it differently, you know, and trying to navigate and enforce, you know, things around you to go in harmony, you know, to harmonize, to be in sync, um, basically. So it's like anything, anybody that come around you is something, it's a thing where you want it to be in harmony and you're not going to accept it any other way. It throws your vibration off, your energy off, and it's a thing where you start to pick up on it and, and clear it out. And that's what makes your energy when it comes to people being around you, wanting them, wanting to do better. They want to, you know, they see themselves in a different light, whether they want to or not. It's a thing of you not allowing that thing about them, that way about them to be something that, that, uh, that, um, with your life path, with the calling that you have, with the energy you hold. It makes people that come into your energy, whether it's lovers, whether it's friends, frenemies, whether it's family members, co-workers, anybody that comes into contact with you when it comes to conversation, classmates, whatever. It's a thing where how you see things makes people question how they see things. It makes them check, you know, themselves. And when they... move a certain way that isn't in agreement with how you see humanity when you feel like something somebody does or how they go about handling people you walk away from that like you you know if you can't change that person's view about how they handle people then you you know it's like you pull your energy back from that person or those people and you go on you know what i'm saying it's like you go on Leave those people be, cut ties with them, go on. And it's like once you do that and you refuse to 
allow these people back in or access to you by communication, by responding, whether it's social media, whether it's um, face to face and you just refuse to like engage them, you know, like you used to. It's a thing where they feel like, oh, they think, you know, the collective think they better than me. It's a thing of, if you can't be a better you, then I can't have you around me because that means you imposing on my higher self. And you, for you to be part of my energy or around me, you need to be on business. You need to be on your higher self status like you need to be on your higher self shit if you ain't on your higher self shit i'm gonna need you to get on down i need you to take that left and go figure that out because other than that it's like somebody an energy vampire like they want to be in your energy but they don't want to make the changes they want to be part of your energy so they can you know get a cheat sheet and sit around and criticize and be in competition with something that they not even willing to sacrifice anything for the betterment of anything like somebody don't want to sacrifice the good the, the fucked up shit to get to the good shit because they don't want to look at the fucked up shit as fucked up it's like what's messed up about it like this person you know they put money in my pocket but okay but you can do that without them you can do that without doing that you know especially with somebody that's bringing your energy down like i mean it's you're never gonna be out of debt with this person like you Especially if this is somebody that deals with people that they feel like they owe, or these people owe them, they ain't gonna never get that that full payment from these folks. They not gonna get that full acceptance, you know, that they supposed to get. Is somebody gonna want them around for the wrong reasons? And somebody okay with that until they realize it now, like these reasons somebody want them around is not beneficial to their higher self. It's not beneficial to their kingdom. Got to be in the business of building your kingdom. Kingdom building. Somebody, you know, can't do that and you can't do that in yourself. No, they don't know how to sacrifice, you know, what's over here. Or know what to sacrifice over here to get where you're going. Or don't know the meaning of sacrifice at all. Next card, getting bad news with a child. Next card, giving the cold, giving the cold shoulder so they can end out their involvement with them. So somebody giving somebody, you know, the silent treatment. Somebody could be a lash technician. Lash tech can be significant. Like somebody giving somebody the silent treatment or like they, they show it with whatever it is they got to say. Like whoever somebody walking away from or in the night cycles with, it's like Whoever they, they walking away from. If it's more than one person, like when it comes to third parties, you know, this is what, you know, and third parties can, don't have to be lovers. They can be, you know, just options somebody had when it came to family, people they poured into or they poured into them or, you know, they just kept them occupied, you know, at a time when you were involved with them, but when you walked away from them, maybe thinking that that was going, they were supposed to be the competition until they were, that was all this person was left with was this circle of folks that they was entertaining at a time when they were in their South Node and they could be walked away from quite a few people. Um, but it's a thing where somebody is giving more than one person the cold shoulder. Because they want to clear out, you know, um, 
they involvement with this person. It's like somebody over time is giving somebody less and less of they sell. And this could have been what this person, you know, did to you until you walked away. But it's a thing where somebody looking at what you did or how you move as a guide now, like somebody's using that as instead of them, you know, being bitter about it because you did choose another route than the rest of these options or the rest of the people that they may have, you know, went toward that did not do this and tolerated, you know, back and forth, you know, karmic toxic behavior because this person a lot of karmic cycles going on with more than one person but it's a thing where somebody's giving everybody you know less and less of them until they decide or they mm. Because I feel like some of these folks are so damn low vibrational that it may take this person some time. It may have took them some time to walk for these people to just say, you know what, I am do fucking with you. Because these people have dealt with somebody. This, If this is a masculine energy, it's like they done dealt with a lot of feminines that will stick around and give them how low down they was. So if they giving somebody the cold shoulder of more than one person, it's like they'll stick around to the last, I'm talking about, they got to do something real low down. Like, really doggish, real, real, for them to be like, you know what, I'm done. Because I feel like this person giving them the cold shoulder is not going to be something they ain't used to. Because this is South no behavior. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like somebody's giving them what they gave you or what somebody was encouraging them to give you, they're giving it to them now. Whether they recognize it or not, it's, it's what they're doing to clear out folks still... So they could be calling, they're not calling back. They could be texting and not responding back. If they do, they short about, like, why you acting funny? Like, now I'm busy, I'm doing this, you know, or I lost my phone, such and such. Or, you know, I got another phone, such and such. You know what I'm saying? I broke, whatever. Somebody just keep giving, you know, excuses about this, about that time of this being done, or not, you know, what they not used to this person doing. They're making excuses for not doing it now. Until they just finally, you know, hear less and less from these people. Or they finally get where they need to be, where this person, these people won't be able to reach out to them, won't be able to get in contact with them. So, yeah. But somebody could be getting bad news about a child. Hopefully it's not something major. But I feel like if this is something dealing with paternity or, you know, the fact that somebody... And paternity could be a thing because that's the first thing I said, first thing that came to mind. But that paternity with a child could be in question, and they could be getting news about that. Somebody could be coming forward, but it's bad news. this child could come to this could be a child of yours or a child of this somebody from your past but somebody's child is going to come toward them with some bad news about something or they going to reveal something to somebody this child may reveal something to an adult here, a parent, or a father figure, or a mother figure. It's like a child is going to be made aware of something, or a child going to make somebody aware of something. Next card, it's a boy. Somebody could be having a boy. Congratulations. Somebody may not know what they're having yet. It could be a boy. But it's a boy out here. But whoever this child is, that's somebody getting some bad news. We, it could be a son. It could be a boy.
Next card. This is a cosmic love. Came out in reverse. Whoever this is. Whoever this past person is to you, collective man or woman, this could have been somebody that is a soulmate to you. Could be a twin flame. When it comes to twin flames, they can uh, ascend when it comes to their healing. Um, and cycles things like that when it comes to the elevation raising their vibration ending out you know cycles with people clearing out clutter you know ending bad ways habits getting rid of bad habits replacing them with things more positive transmuting learning how to transmute negative energy you know keeping the energy you know high keeping the vibration high but this person could be like a cosmic love to you um you could feel like this was your person, but I feel like somebody thought they were with that person. Could be like a false flame, you know, like a, a karmic soulmate to somebody, whoever they were in a connection with, or whoever they went towards or gave an offer to. But this is not, this not, that wasn't what that was. But this could, you know, very well be somebody like a twin flame to you. But I feel like somebody was involved with somebody they felt like maybe was they even if this person don't really know about twin flame soulmates and stuff like that they may not even believe in love at first sight then again they probably do they just didn't think it would come at a time when they were in their south node or when they you know were in the lifestyle that they had when you cross paths with this person they may not have believed somebody like you standing on business and being you know a virtuous man woman divine being this person may not have believed in that kind of, in spirituality in that way. Um, but it's a thing where somebody realizes now, like the feeling they have, you know, or the connection they had with you is not something that they have with somebody else when they think about walking away from somebody or ending things. And they don't had time to, you know, compare the two um, emotions, the, you know, the different sets of emotions that they experiencing with you and with others. So it's a thing where somebody's realizing and respecting, you know, how you see yourself, what you want for yourself, and what you're willing to stick to with or without them. But it's a thing where they may have been in an illusion of something of some sort with somebody of thinking that where they were was something that don't get better than that, that, you know, that's, you know, them being soulmates or something like that you know but it's really a, you know a, a karmic cycle you know like a karmic soulmate to somebody a karmic flame like a false flame but you and this person could you know have some type of uh divine contract together could be you know a soulmate could be even a twin flame so it's a you know a, your discernment when it comes to this person coming back around you don't have to take this person back you don't have to reconcile with this person you know the most high you know the, the the divine will send you someone else in if that's what you're manifesting for some of you it is um based on whatever cycle you ended out however that you know whatever went on so you know the divine is open and able to grant you you know that wish to send you in a higher level soulmate Next card, karmic lover still sexing their ex. So this child, whoever this boy is, could be delivering some bad news to somebody here about revealing something, dealing with a parent, like I said, like something 
they gonna say it's gonna shed some light on some on something. And this child couldn't know about a parent, you know, um, knowing that they, you know, they could, and that a paternity could be an issue. It's like this child may reveal to this parent, like, that this person is not their dad or this, who's supposed to be their dad. Or what somebody, what they know they may have heard their mom say. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I feel like somebody, you know, because I remember it was a situation one time, um, it was this woman, she had two kids and one of them wasn't for her husband, but he was paying child support for both kids, two boys, and Somebody, you know, I don't know. I crossed paths with somebody one day that knew her. Um, because, I, you know, they seen me out with her one time. And they asked me, you know, about her. You know, how I knew her or whatever. And they were telling me how they knew her. And this person, long story short, ended up going through a situation where she was getting government assistance at one point and because of that you had to do a paternity thing like you know child support stuff like that you know with an absent parent or you know let them know if you got a child that's getting child support or something like that so they can base you know your supplement amount off of that you know what i'm saying so they can be aware of what income you know money wise you do have coming in and and not, you know, let her know. She was telling me, she said, you know, where well, he's, you know, taking me to court for child support, you know, back pay for something, you know, and he want a paternity test with her youngest son because he don't think that he was his. And for some reason, and she was pissed about it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, why? You know, if, if you know, that just being me, I'm like, shit, I'll be up for it if, you know, I know what it is. But if you're nervous about, you know, him wanting this, then I can understand your frustration, you know, your anger at this point. But she was mad because, you know, she had just moved from an apartment to a home, you know, buying her first home and stuff. And she was getting hit with the fact that she wasn't going to get that amount no more, you know, as that little extra income, you know, that was getting her by, you know, when it came to her lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Or what she wanted to provide for her, her and her boys. But it was a thing where I felt like she, you ought to get that man what's fair. You know, if you know that ain't his kid, you know, let it, let the chips fall where they may. You know what I'm saying? But at least, you know, but I felt like she didn't want to have to pay that money back. Because when you in the system, you know, it's a thing where if they was paying you something until you got some child support, they going to want they cut back too. You know, it's different for every state. But that could be a thing with somebody. Somebody child you know, could be coming through with some news, but it's like somebody, I end up crossing paths with a guy that I was, you know, we was talking at my job and he was asking me, you know, about, you know, my homegirl or whatever. So I'm like, well, you know, I, you know, know she used to work here, whatever, but he happened to know her husband. And he was saying, you know, well, she looked different. I said, well, you know, she had some stuff done, you know, yeah. So before, you know, how he described it, I ain't when I knew her. You know what I'm saying? So apparently, you know, he didn't recognize her to a certain extent, but he recognized her vehicle, just not the person. But she had some stuff done. So I'm like, yeah. So he was like, you know, yeah, you know, she got two boys. I'm like, yeah. He said, yeah, that youngest one ain't he, ain't, you know, ain't, ain't my homeboy child. And I'm like, hold on now wait a minute, you know, because I didn't know her like that at the time, you know, and the child support thing ended up coming up after he said that, after, you know, I ended up running to this guy, which I didn't feel like was a coincidence. I just felt like, you know, it was time for somebody to know something about her, you know, and it was for me to know that, you know what I'm saying? Otherwise, he would have, 
cross paths with me and her at the same time and reveal what he had to say to both of us. But I felt like what that guy told me was something that the Most High wanted me to see. My ancestors wanted me to know that about her, uh, what was going on with her, even if she wasn't telling me. So it's a thing of like, I just let it play out, you know, when she was around me because I didn't want to, you know, throw something out there, you know, that she wasn't aware of before, you know, it happened just to see, you know, what was going to come of it. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't know at that time, like how he knew what he knew, you know what I'm saying? And just didn't say nothing all that time. Like, how you know that she, you know, been around here with two boys, ain't saying that anyway. But the shit went down and she was pissed. You know what I'm saying? But it was a thing where she knew she was going to have to pay this guy back. And him, him finding out that that wasn't his kid. After all them years, he was paying that child support, like, for them two boys. And she dropping them off over there, you know. And I'm knowing he looking at this child all the time. Like, this ain't my child. Like, ain't no way. Like, he don't even act like none of my kids. Like, it ain't that necessarily a thing. But it's just like a man knows. Just like, you know, grandparents, they know. They they know they offspring. They know they they bloodline. They 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 know when they see you know one of their own. They they can feel it. They can see it. They can sense it. You know they connect with it. And when they don't, it's like hold on, what's going on here? Like you know what I'm saying. The DNA start to play out. You know, but every child different. You could take on characteristics, behavior, of ancestors that passed on years way before you even thought about having kids. Way before you was even born. You know what I'm saying. So. Somebody's child is going to reveal something. Or somebody going to find out something about a child that may possibly be belong to somebody's karmic lover's ex because they were still dealing with them. And the guy said that her son was not for her husband. It was for, you know, another guy. And he knew the guy because the guy looked like her youngest son. She, he said he seen her youngest, her two boys before. You know, when they were married and when, you know, when she was married to her husband, her ex-husband. And he um, got a chance to see the youngest boy, you know, all that time. And he was saying when he saw the youngest boy, maybe when he came by the guy house and, you know, her husband, her ex-husband at the time, may, you know, I felt like they still was in communication, you know, but he may have seen that boy then and it was like, you know, telling, you know, her ex-husband, like, yeah, man, he don't, he don't look like you, you know, he don't even look like the other boy that you got with her. If they both by the same woman, you know, they should, you know, damn near looking like they by the same two parents, you know what I'm saying? I don't see why he looks so different. And he did. The youngest one did look different than the other one. They were like night and day. And that's not nothing, you know, different. Like I said, he could have looked like somebody on down through her family, not just his, you know. But Hey, the dude said he remembered. He said, man, I know that youngest boy of hers looked like somebody I know. And even that dude, he said, I asked the dude about it. And he said, you know, the dude was like, man, I don't know because it could be. You know, she don't want to have nothing to do with me. She don't even want to talk to me. And so he said, you know, he put two and two together where he felt like, yeah, she probably don't. But she wants this dude to believe, you know, it ain't been nobody else but him, you know, since she's been married to him. But. Mm-hmm. So that me, you know, by this car coming out right here. Yeah. That child could not be it could be a boy, it could be a son to somebody, but it's a thing where it's not it's it, it, it's it's this karmic's lover's ex. They still they were still involved with this masculine probably when they got back together. They could have a thing where, you know, somebody they gave a commitment to or possibly even was married to, just in a you know, separated. They could have had some kids, couple of kids together, but one of them, you know, that's a boy, is probably not his. I'm getting it's not his. And this this son probably knows that this is not his dad. He may have overheard his mama or just out of anger heard his mom say, you know, or seen his mom with this other guy that you know the guy probably done said to him like you know you look just like me too like him and that guy probably done had some type of connection at some point and hung out or he remember this guy coming over you know 
and all that since him and his you know who he knew his dad to be you know got back together that could have been an off and on in and out thing but i feel like child i'm telling you somebody's child knows that somebody ain't his dad and i don't know if he gonna be the one tell this parent this father figure like what his mom been up to uh somebody he you know done been told is his dad and shit like that and that could be why this son could be giving him the cold shoulder sometime this boy could be whoever this child is they could you know not connect like they want to you know what i'm saying with this this child it could be a little distant may feel like this masculine could feel like they trying so hard to like connect but it's a reason why somebody don't want to somebody gonna get so agitated with something that it's just gonna come out and i feel like this whoever this child is they old enough to say you know hey look you're not even it's not you ain't even my real dad you know you ain't even my daddy you know what i'm saying like i feel like child somebody gonna say that shit Next card, didn't know my life was in your hands when you walked away. First, could be trying to find out who you with now. Yeah, whoever this is. I'm hearing this song. Um, I think about you all the time. Twenty four seven. I don't know if it's called "You and Me." I think it's by After Seven or Twenty Four Seven by After Seven, something like that. That group After Seven. It's like I'm never gonna let you go. I think about you all the time. I love you more than words can say. We'll always be together, baby. You and me. I think that's after seven, but it's called. Uh, I think it's called twenty four seven. But that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that song like loud and clear. Um, and this person could, you know. They want to know if you moved on, like if you with somebody else now, because they, you know, I feel like somebody don't want to be a fool for coming back around and, you know, you, because somebody didn't realize you were a person. And when they did, it was like the amount of time they done let go by since you walked away. So much done played out with people around them seeing them seeing that whatever connection they thought they had with somebody was love or you know was something they were gonna be peaceful with, happy with. It ain't been nothing but drama since you walked away, but that was because it been drama the whole time. Somebody's energy only made things harmony, peaceful. Somebody was peace had more peace in your energy than the energy they was left with. And the energy somebody was left with and in was very toxic, very karmic. And it was a thing where things started to feel that way when you walked away, when you pulled your energy back. This person was left with a lot of chaos. They was left with a lot of drama, a lot of arguing, a lot of side eyeing, a lot of evil eyes being thrown at each other back and forth. A lot of, you know, bickering, like, um throwing salt on each other you know what i'm saying like maybe even trying to one-up each other you know with having outside people you know third parties but it's a thing where even if this is somebody that break up the makeup you know makeup sex and shit like that it's like somebody still was dealing with a karmic lover was still dealing with an ex so if they was in a situation ship you know and somebody you know called themselves you know having something going on like that um and they were already in a marriage that may have been you know like an open marriage they were just separated living single this person could have got involved with somebody like in a friends with benefits situationship got this person pregnant 
or it could have been somebody they they was married to and just living separate you know what i'm saying gave a commitment to living separate um living like they single but it's a thing where somebody could have had a kid with this person you know and this kid could be older now or it could be you know a kid that's just of age and they able to distinguish what they see and actually speak on it and it's a thing where somebody gonna be like what say that again and they may say it around everybody or they may say it to just this masculine but it's like even if they saying it you know out of anger it's like them saying somebody came over or somebody was over here or they may say somebody's name around this masculine like who is that or they might be asking you know they like that karmic whoever they was with like who is that what they who name is that who are you talking about you know what i'm saying like hmm. and it could be a boy that comes toward this masculine and tell them about a child that they got about you know the truth behind a child that they got with somebody or it could just be a, a a young boy or this is a son a boy to a father figure something like that but somebody you know watching you they you may like i said you could be a youtube influencer or they could be or something like that or somebody they went to could be but it's a thing with somebody you know could be divination spying they could be just in the 3d using people around you or them you know to the point of using that person to see if they can you know find out what's going on with you they may be looking you up on social media to see if you posting you know something new um things like that if you into that but i feel like somebody in my collective don't publicize their private life like that if they moving on i know i don't um but it's a thing where somebody trying to find out if you know you with somebody else now but it's a thing you know i feel like you know if they looking to see if you with somebody else, and I feel like it's because somebody don't want to be looking like, you know, a fool to come back towards you when you happy with somebody else. But I feel like if this person, you know, genuine about coming back around, they wouldn't be worrying about, you know, um, who you meet, you know, who you moved on to. Just the fact that you moved on and you told this person that you would and could, this person ought to stand on that and respect that enough to, you know, go get on down. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they ain't going to you know come through with the come through but i feel like you know they're gonna come through with the come through it's just somebody don't want to come through and you they they spot been taken you know because they know you somebody that's gonna be all in and they know what you deserve and they know you're gonna go after and you're gonna stand on what it is you know you deserve but this is why that first card came out Showed me why you did deserve me. It showed you exactly why they didn't deserve you. So it was like a thank you next kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? So at this point, you know, you have called judgment on this person. But you are opening your heart to new love. So really it's up to, you know, you to make your discernment with a new, you know, suitor that's coming in for you. You know, with an equal give and take that, you know, have had their own set of lessons to learn you know when it comes to love when it comes to a partnership when it comes to a higher level of commitment for you because i feel like some of you are manifesting that in but it's a thing where somebody from your past is in the night cycles and going through this transformation that has maybe taken them a while but this is also going to be something that this person is going to have to swallow their pride and they done had an ego death on top of that so it's a thing of somebody having to allow themselves to be vulnerable enough to accept the fact that if you do reject them it's something that they deserve they deserved it you know what i'm saying it was necessary for them to make the changes they needed to make they needed to know the meaning of sacrifice and somebody didn't think making a sacrifice or knowing how to or that it required sacrifice is something to get to you if not sacrificing all the bullshit to get to you because drama is maybe what somebody thought was the way to go until they realized you know you ain't with that and they may have said they wasn't with it but that's why all they was left with when you walked away so it, i can't tell but 
but we're going to end it here collective you guys make sure you do something nice for someone even if you don't know them hit that like that subscribe button on your way out and those that genuinely love me know that i love you too Mwah. bye